boat accidents have become quite the cause of concern for the state of Assam. Although the 5th of September North Guwahati boat capsized tragedy which killed four people did seem like a major eye-opener for the government, two more such accidents in the space of just two days raises serious questions on whether the government's endeavour to fix the issue by imposing a ban on plying of boats is just a knee-jerk reaction after all. Enforcement of the order uh, doesn't uh, rest only on the IWT uh, stuff because it has to take the help of the district administration and district police administration as DRF, river police and all, all the uh, subsidiary agencies. Accordingly, instructions have been issued to all. With two back-to-back -back boat accidents this week, the question that one can't stop asking is whether all the tough talk by the Assam government is just a farce. The first accident took place in Borpeta on the Beki River on the day of the ban itself and the second a day later in Gwalpara on the 11th of September. While all the 15 people on board the boat that hit a pillar of a bridge on Beki River somehow managed to save themselves, Bilal Hussain and seven-year-old Amina Khatun reportedly drowned in the 11th of September, Gwalpara boat capsized. अभी जो प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है हम लोग मतलब अभी जल्दी मतलब कभी हम लोग आने से रुकना पड़ता है पहले पहले हम लोग आधा घंटा आधा घंटा में जाना मिलता था अभी हम लोग यहाँ में मिनियम एक घंटा डेढ़ घंटा रुकना पड़ता है जो तो इसको खूब इधर है कारण कि हम ये दो घंटा हमें बोई देख बोल के जहाँ दो घंटा बिशोत जब आरो बहुत बुती होले हमें तो थोड़ा ना पाऊं जाए पैसा लोगों को था नहीं इन्हें खूब इधर तो आमंग लगे हैं Meanwhile, Assam Transport Minister Chandra Mohan Patwari has made wearing of life jackets by every passenger while boarding the mechanized boat mandatory. He has further instructed the deputy commissioners to conduct safety audit of the ferry vessels within their respective districts. With the internal inquiry ordered by the state government under additional Chief Secretary Jishnu Barwa expected to be completed within a month and with an estimated 30,000 people across Assam using these services daily, one can only hope that these journeys will be much safer. Bureau Report, Northeast Life.